Welcome to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today in my swing studio. Today's video is going to be a really simple one. I'm going to give you one thing to focus on that's really going to improve your pitching around the green. Stay tuned to find out more. So let's get into this. What we're going to be talking about is the finish position when we're pitching and how focusing on our shoulders and the amount of tilt in our shoulders is really going to help us improve our pitching. So what I'd like to see is when we finish the shot, our shoulders finishing a little bit more horizontal rather than a more of a tilt in my shoulders here where my trail shoulder is low and my lead shoulder is high. So I recently filmed a video about synchronizing your arms to your body when we're pitching, and this has got some real relevance, but as a simple way you can take it to the golf course, I want you to be able to hold the finish position, and I want you finishing with your shoulders a little bit more horizontal rather than tilted down here. What it means is I have rotated my head and chest. There's no stall in my body, no flick with the hands. I'm rotating, my arms are gonna finish more in front of my leads, uh, my left hip, uh, my lead hip or my chest here. My shoulders are finishing more horizontal. You could also see as a, a thought process, I'm holding the finish position and I could still balance a club on my forearms rather than getting my lead arm much higher than my right where this is gonna start falling. So I really want to get that, if I show it from a couple of angles, I really want to get the feeling of rotating my chest through so these are finishing more horizontal, more level. That means my head is turning with my chest and I'll really be using the loft and the bounce correctly rather than this sort of approach where this lead shoulder is much higher than my trail shoulder, which is gonna really affect contact and strike. We wanna use the loft, we wanna use the bounce of the golf club correctly and the more rotational we are when we're pitching, the better. So the focus is all gonna be about the shoulders. Let me see if I can go ahead and hit a couple. I've got um, 40 yards to the flag, a 58 degree wedge, which is around a hip height swing for me. And I'm really just gonna focus on my shoulders at the finish position being more horizontal here my arms will be more in front of my left side. Let me give it a go. So the finish position seems perfect. Oh, nearly pitched in. Shoulders are more horizontal. My arms are in front of my chest. I really used a good amount of loft on the golf club. Let me try one more. So again, all I'm gonna focus on is the finish position. So I'm rotating through, looks pretty similar. Oh, I'll take those two. My shoulders are finishing more horizontal. My arms are more in front of my chest, but on the left side there. So I'm really getting used to using the big muscles rotating through here. So my shoulders are finishing, as I said, more horizontal rather than vertical. So we are trying to extend our chest on the way through as we rotate. If you can keep that simple thought uh, and take it to the golf course next time you're pitching, it's definitely gonna help you use the loft and the bounce of the golf club correctly to improve your margin of error next time you're pitching. It will definitely help. If it does, post some comments and questions below. Let me know how you get on with it. Do subscribe to the channel as well. It's the best way to stay in touch. Never miss a video again. A new content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5.30. Thanks, guys. We'll see you soon.